Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hair curly tutorial. No, that's that's definitely not it. No, that's not the one. Today's video is going to be a curly hair tutorial. So if you want to learn how to achieve these really cute, beachy, loose, they kind of remind me of Victoria's Secret models, don't they? So yeah, we're going to call this the Victoria's Secret model curly hair tutorial. <laughs> so if you want to see how to achieve this look, then just keep on watching. So to curl my hair, I use the Numi wand. This looks like this. I love the colors. Gray and white. My fave. This is the one and a half inch. I've tried out a lot of wands from high end to low end, and this is my favorite. It can be a little bit pricey, but before this one, I had a different one, and I found that one at Marshall's for like 20 bucks. So I would check out your local Marshall's, you know, check out maybe Amazon or something. So I use that, and then some other products I use is Batiste Dry Shampoo. I love this scent. This is the fresh scent. It makes me feel extra clean. And then I also use the Chi Infra Texture Dual Action hairspray and this I found at Marshall's and this one I got at TJ Maxx so you girls balling on a budget if you have a wand you can just use that I'm just gonna show you guys my technique on how I get my long thick brown hair curled how I get it to stay and you know just all my tips and little tricks. I always start with a middle part. I don't know why I switched over to a middle part, but it just happened out of like nowhere. So when my hair is straight, I usually do a straight line, but when it's curled, I kind of do like, kind of really messy, honestly. Like I just mess it up so it looks like it has a little bit more volume to it. And then I'll split it right in the middle down the back. So I'll have two big sections. I work with one side and then I move over to the other just to make my life a little bit easier and I can see like how the curls are looking on each side. As you can see, I do have really long hair. <laughs> this probably takes me about 20 minutes to do. I always start with the back. I'll take like a chunk like this big and then I'll take my wand and then I'll curl it backwards. And because this wand is a one and a half, it will kind of give you like a bigger, beachier waves. It's not like super tight. And then I'll just hold it. I go pretty close to my scalp, but not all the way. Just because I feel like my curls fall anyways. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if I go right to my scalp. I'll hold it for about like, what, 30 seconds, I'd say. Kind of hold it in my hand as well and let it cool down. And then... That's what the curl will look like. So yeah, super simple. And then I'll take this curl and just throw it to the back. And then I'll take another section right above that one, about the same size. I'll go away from my face as well with this one. And I'll go pretty much to the end of my hair as well. I know some people like to keep out a little section in the end. I don't really enjoy that look, so I always kind of curl it right to the end. This wand is super hot, and it gets hot super fast. You don't have to wait around for your wand to heat up. And by the way, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I have three new me curling wands in my collection, and that's just because I love them, and I purchased them all myself, or they were gifts for like Christmas or something like that. The bottom ones, I go away from my face. And then I'll work my way up. I know some people do like sections, like they section off their hair, but girl, I don't got time for that, okay? No, no, no. And then this top one, I'll go in towards my face. I used to do all of my hair away from my face, and I was realizing that my curls weren't like bouncy, and it just made my hair look exactly the same all the way around. That's kind of hard to explain. Now I do like in towards my face, out towards my face, in towards my face, and like I do every other just because it gives the hair a little bit more volume and just a little bit more like dimension I would say. So as you can see I'm still working on this one side and I haven't even touched the side at all. And then this one I'm going to go away from my face. Oh my god my cord is stuck in between my toes. <laughs> it is so hot in here especially there's no fan. The AC has not been running today, and I have a hot curling wand near my face. It's pretty hot. So pretty much the back of my hair on this side is all curled, and I just have like this little front section. But I have a problem with like my pieces right here. I hate these little pieces that are like curled. I don't know, something about that, it really, really bugs me. So I'll take my curling wand and just like go over them so they straighten out a little bit. 
I don't know, I hate when people like ignore these little pieces. I have a lot of like dead ends and like baby hairs right here. So I just go over them really lightly. I make sure not to touch your skin. I've done that so many times. So just be careful, girl, because that is the worst, having a burn on your face. And then I'll kind of like push my hair back as well on the top. I'm like, oh, I don't know what that's called, but I feel like that gives it a little volume just because you're heating it the opposite way, kind of. I don't know how to explain it. I'm so sorry. I suck at hair tutorials. I'm definitely not a hairdresser. I'm going to take a little tiny piece, this big, from the front. And I'm going to go towards my face with this one. But I'm not going to go all the way to the root. I'm going to leave some space right there just so it falls and it's not like going right in my eyeballs, you know what I mean, once I let it go. And with this piece, I always go away from my face. So these two front chunks, I always go away so like your hair isn't like curling in towards your face. You want it to go out. And then I'll let that just sit. So as you can see, I definitely don't really touch the curls until I'm completely done with my whole head. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side really quickly. All of my hair is curled. You can see what it looks like. I haven't really like loosened it, tousled it, put any product in it. I haven't done anything and this is what it's looking like. So first I'm going to do the dry shampoo. You can use whatever dry shampoo you have in your collection. This is just my all time favorite. I do this because I feel like this gives the hair a little bit extra texture, a little bit more volume, like a little <laughs> looking cute. Once it has that grit, it's more likely to stay and have volume and not look so Right. And I just pretty much just do it at the root. I don't do a lot. Just a little bit, you know? Just to mess it up a little. Now I'll do this side. I like to do it right along this hairline too. Push it up a little bit. And you'll see it can get pretty messy. And then once you just kind of like mess with it. You can see the volume, especially on the sides right here, adds that little extra oomph. And then I go in with a little bit of hairspray. This hairspray doesn't make your hair feel crunchy or like too hard. It's a very lightweight, natural feeling hairspray, which is why I love it. And it was only like $10 at Marshalls. I wouldn't say this is the best hairspray to keep your curls in. My hair just keeps curls so well, so I don't really have to worry about that. This does a really good job of adding the extra grit to your hair. And then I'll like tousle it like up. I like to focus this mainly on the ends. I never go in the root and then I'll just like run my fingers through it. I never use a brush because a brush makes it so frizzy. As you can see my curls have fallen just a little bit but I'll do a spin for you guys. That's pretty much all I do to achieve this cute little curled hair. I love the way it looks, especially when these pieces fall. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.